After drafting a body paragraph, many students will end it much too abruptly. This can weaken their ideas and it can also leave the reader confused. To avoid such confusion, you should end each and every one of your body paragraphs with a concluding sentence of synthesis. Most students believe that the only conclusion needed in an essay is the one that appears at the very end in the very last paragraph. This, however, is not at all the case. A sentence of conclusion is needed at the end of each and every body paragraph, and we call this concluding sentence a synthesis. The purpose of a synthesis is similar to that of your concluding paragraph. Just like the concluding paragraph draws the entire essay to a close, a synthesis draws the main idea in an individual paragraph to a close. This is an important part of the academic essay because, as we learned in the mini-lesson, your audience, after reading the details in a body paragraph, may not make the same connections that you made when putting those details together. Including a synthesis, then, will help your reader understand how the paragraph supporting details work together to expose some significant point. In just a moment, I will ask you to pause the video to complete this practice exercise. After you pause the video, read this paragraph from Jim Adams' book titled Destiny Unfulfilled, A Critique of the Harry Potter Series. When you have finished reading, determine which of these four sentences at the bottom of the screen would best work placed at the end of the paragraph as a concluding sentence of synthesis. You can pause the video now. Have you read the entire paragraph and chosen an appropriate sentence of synthesis? If not, please stop the video and return to the previous slide. Then pause the video to complete this important practice exercise. Let's see if you chose the correct answer. While number one makes a valid point, it does not expand upon or connect to the central idea presented in the topic sentence. That idea, of course, concerns the development of key characters. Number two is also incorrect because it actually contradicts the topic sentence. Number four is also incorrect because it is a quote. Remember, a synthesis must provide the reader with your original interpretation of the paragraph's content. Therefore, a synthesis should never be a quote. That leaves us with number three as the sentence that best concludes this paragraph. It does this by helping the reader understand how the essay's supporting details about key characters mentioned work together to expose a significant point. That point is that the reader never really gets to know who the characters are outside of their obvious actions. To confirm that you do not end a body paragraph too abruptly, be sure that the concluding sentence is your original idea, that it is a synthesis of that paragraph's supporting details, and that it reveals the body paragraph's underlying concern or central idea. Thank you for completing the Concluding Sentences of Synthesis practice lesson.